What up, Dope Death Fam? It's your boy Dope out here with another video, guys. And today we're back with the Mamalona. We got Cheyenne out here. We got the boy Mundo over here. We're gonna have the homie Chicolin pull up. Maybe a couple of the homies. Um, but today we're gonna be replacing the doors today, guys. So if you guys don't remember, um, I bought new doors for the driver and passenger side. Um, mostly the only reason I did it was because this side's already dented. So instead of fixing the dent, I'm just gonna replace them. And then the cool thing too about replacing them is these doors are original manual doors that I had converted into electric. And obviously when you uh, convert something to electric and you don't use OEM parts, I used aftermarket, um, everything's slower and it doesn't always work the way you want it. So the new doors are all fully electric. So we're gonna put them on and then we're gonna send them to Luna LED to have them wire it up. He's gonna wire it up to a new BCM. That way it can be all OEM and everything will work perfect. So today we're just gonna be replacing the doors. Should be easy, I think it's three uh, 10 millimeter bolts on each side. And then you just push the door up and obviously we gotta do all the, the wiring that's in there. We gotta take it off and then put the new door on and pretty much reverse the whole process. Uh, push the wiring through. We're not gonna be connecting anything today just because Luna's gonna be worrying about that. I would do it myself, but I've never done that. And then you also said you gotta use the uh, BCM to make it go work OEM. And I don't know how that stuff works, but hopefully everything turns out good. And, uh, but yeah, we'll start off by taking off the passenger side because it should be easier, less wiring. But yeah. All right guys, so I forgot to tell you guys, you do have to remove the door panels first, but here it is. We've got the door panel removed. We're just gonna set this to the side. And good thing I already have the electric door panels, so I don't have to get those. But yeah, look guys, here's the aftermarket electric uh, locks and the aftermarket electric windows. And obviously I did replace the speakers on this, so I'm, I will keep be keeping these. Um, let me get a Phillips okay. so I can take these speakers off. All right, guys, we got the speaker off. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is pop this off so we can disconnect the wiring from this little fuse box and start pushing the wires through. Once we get the wires pushed through, we can start unbolting the door so we can just pop it off. Oh, yeah, just like that. All right, guys, so we got the, the wires all pushed out that we have to push out pretty much. That's it. Now we're just gonna do the three 10 millimeters and then we're gonna have to lift the door up and it should pop out. Let me get the drill. Where's the drill? I'm sorry, Chicklin, today hey, I'm, I'm the bolts. I'm the camera guy today. All right, you're gonna use your muscles to lift the, the door up. You're gonna have to grab it from the side, I think, or somehow. Okay, ready? One, two, three. All right, guys. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna replace everything from this door to the new door. We we decided to end up keeping this door handle that's already on here. And instead of replacing it with the one with the keyhole, we're gonna only do that for the driver side because obviously on the driver side you can unlock it with your key. Passenger side, we don't really have to worry about that one. Uh, we're gonna place the side mirror on this mirror, and then strong over here. I have the Escalade door handles actually on this side. See how they're different colors? I'm gonna keep that one, so we're gonna replace those. And that should be pretty easy. So we'll start off with the side mirror. I think the side mirror is like three, ten. Oh, yeah. All right, so we got that one out already. So you can tell us those are just three bolts. But I only had two on there for some reason, so. We'll just do the same thing. Put this one on this side. Hold it, chicken. Mr. George. Mr. George. How much you pay the new guy? 20 bucks. No, too much. Not much money. Just so no water gets 
good or all right guys so on this side it's also just a 10 millimeter meal a 10 millimeter bolt but you do have to take off this little locking tab we just grab a flathead and try to pop it off there we go see once you get this little tab open and you push this off and then that's good to go and then you just take off the 10 millimeter and then this whole thing slides out nice now we're gonna do the same thing to this side You guys can see the difference now. These are the Escalade ones, and these are just the regular ones. They're shiny. Push it back in. You push the rod back into place, and then you lock it back into place as well. Got locked in. Get the ten back in here. Boom, easy. Okay. Door handles for sale. Door handles for sale. Door for sale. <laughs> a work truck. Door. But it does have a, a electric electric stuff on there already. Electric. Ready to go. Ready to go. Plug and play. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Look what we pay for you for. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're just gonna pretty much do the opposite of what we did. We're gonna hook the doors back into these little posts, and then put the bolts back in. You all know if it's sitting all the way in, guys, because the ten millimeter, the ten millimeter bolts you guys took off on the sides won't match up. But now they do match up because it's in the right angle. That was better, huh? Yeah, much better. Chikorin over here hitting the switches. The switches. This one. This one. Alright guys, so these are the switches off the door panels that I have over there. Um, they should just be plugged and plugged to this one. That's it. The only difference is these came off a of Tahoe. And these doors came off a of crew cab. So, shit. It looks the same. Kind of looks different to me. It looks about the same to me. Watch. Obviously, I don't need these, so I can take these off. Well, don't forget it was a crew cast though. Maybe he's gonna have extra plugs. Extra, mm -hmm. extra plugs too. So this one looks like it does plug into here. Yes, it does. Okay. Perfect. But then this one. On the back, no? Oh shit, it does. I told you. The only one is this one, but I think this is for the power folding mirrors. Oh yeah. Wouldn't it be on that side though? Or I don't know what this one would be for. All right, guys, we're just going to re repeat the process on this side, but we're not going to record it because obviously, guys, you guys already seen it, what we did on that side. So we'll just get back to you guys when we're done with this side. All right, guys, so we didn't show you guys how to take off the door handle off the other one because we didn't do it. But since we're going to do it on this side, pretty much there's a 10 millimeter bolt in here. We got to take off this little plugs. There's a 10 millimeter bolt in there. And then there's another one straight into here that you're going to have to use an extension to reach. And then there's another 10 millimeter inside for this one you're gonna have to use your ratchet and then you can't see it but you can feel it with your fingers and then once you feel it just put the ratchet onto there and we can take it off so let's see if that works all right guys so i was able to get the 10 millimeter out all you gotta do is get it loose with the ratchet once it's loose you can do it with your fingers and then boom it just pops off so on this side, it's going to be the same thing, kind of like as a door, where it has that little... That little lock. So you just got to pop the little lock off. You got to do the bottom one as well. There's two. Okay, there we 
go. Got it off. And like I said, we're only keeping this one, guys. He closed it, but I don't know why, because I don't know how he's gonna open it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> we'll figure it out right now. Pretty sure it's not that hard. <laughs> From inside. <laughs> we wanna just, keep the- I'm just playing. We wanna keep the lock on this end. <laughs> but, pretty sure. Yeah, one of those. Oh, you push that. There you go, you guys. We can record it back. He did get it. Heart attack. Heart attack. <laughs> Oof, we were sweating it. We're not, we're not that dumb. Maybe just a little bit. All right, now we can do the, the wiring, but same thing as that side, so we'll stop recording again. All right, guys. So here's the final installation. We showed you guys this side. We finally put the little speaker back in just to have it in there. I'm not gonna put the door panels in or anything because he's gonna have to take them off anyways, I think. But I don't actually I don't think he needs to. We'll we'll think about it right now. We probably we might put him back in. But yeah, here's this side, we got the mirror back in. We swapped out the handle. And yeah, we got the window to go up. I hope you guys remember this window was down. But yep. Yeah. Now let's just get ready for uh for luna hopefully he replies back today so we can drop it off so that's it for today guys make sure to like comment subscribe catch you guys on the next one deuces <laughs>